This is my LinkedIn page. Might want to give it a read one day. They've taught millions of people. Person's comatose, labored shallow breathing, blue colored skin making gurgling noises, pinpoint pupils. All that proves your heart's beating. You don't even have to check pulse. They need risky breathing ASAP. Could be any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. You deny rescue breathing from anyone. Every cell, tissue, and organ is dying. Lack of oxygen, especially the brain. Here's a viral video. 128,000 hits in the first week. Recorded by Daryl Gibby, an emergency physician. On the panel was Gregor Robertson, the mayor of Vancouver, where they teach rescue breathing in BC. Next to him was Bill Blair, member of parliament, the head of Canadian Homeland Security and next to him was Jeanette Fittipot Taylor the Federal Minister of Health sitting next to her is Judy Darcy MLA from BC the Minister of Addictions and Mental Health which teaches rescue breathing only like everyone does except for Ontario has been taken across the country to deny rescue breathing and pound on a beating heart. Mayor John Tory was also there on the panel. And it was recorded by Daryl Gibbon, emergency physician. This is Zoe Dodd of the Moss Park Overdose Prevention Site. 168 case reports. 67% of the time it's risk oxygen, rescue breathing only. Naloxone was used only, uh, I think it was 15%, was, didn't work 15% of the time. Anyway, she's saving non-drug overdoses and drug overdoses by teaching rescue breathing. And this is the news here with Zoe at 40 seconds, chest compressions. 95% of the time you'll look in the news and say chest compressions, killing the reporters, Anybody, the doctors, anybody with a breathing emergency, these people are eagerly pounding on a bean heart. This is Bill 105 in the media room at Queen's Park with Natalie Cusandova, MPP for Ontario. She's also an RN, emergency nurse. She's sick of seeing people showing up needlessly in the hospital. Daryl quoted over and over again, it's rescue breathing. Doris Grinspun, CEO of the Registered Nurses Association, mentioned first aid, which is rescue breathing. CPR is a totally different license for a totally different medical condition called cardiac arrest. She refers to the Brad Chapman's coroner's inquest, which the RNA was there. I was there at the Brad Chapman's coroner's inquest. Sean Court, He's the Director of Policy for the Ministry of Health, Ontario, on the stand being questioned by the lawyers. His response was, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I want my lawyers, plural. The jury goes, that man's guilty. Of course, gave himself away. Here's Alan Malik of the Ontario Pharmacists Association, which teaches chest compressions only. First class in pharmacy school, what to do for a poisoning or a drug overdose. It's give them rescue breathing ASAP. You're not allowed in the lab not knowing that. And there's Rick Frayne pulled life support from his brother because somebody forgot to give his brother rescue breathing. And there's the OPA's webinar, which I was on. The, they had a medical doctor that gave this chest compressions only. I had her charged with the College of Physicians and Surgeons for teaching chest compressions. She knows it's wrong. She's an emergency physician, Dr. Michelle Clayman. Insane, killing doctors. You teach them, they're doing it. Here's Aaron Orkin, emergency physician, co-author of the 2015 AHA guidelines on toxic ingestions, which is wrong. He's teaching CPR. I'm also published in the 2015 AHA and ILCOR guidelines on toxic ingestions. P proves that they're wrong. Aaron Orkin knew it was wrong before he started teaching this chest compressions only. 
He's a physician. You couldn't get into medical school not knowing about breathing emergencies because they see a thousand of them before they ever run into a cardiac arrest. And it's simple. He's not breathing very good. So he says in the news, rescue breathing is the hardest thing for him to do. EMS, it's very hard to do. They teach rescue breathing in Boy Scouts and Girl Guides for your first aid badge because children don't have cardiac arrest problems. They all their friends will have respiratory problems and they need air ASAP. And this is the same article from the CBC where this video quote was. It's in, in the print article, it says the Heart and Stroke Foundation says chest compressions before naloxone. Blatant lie. Heart and Stroke Foundation wrote them a letter in 2013, told them stop doing that. I'm the only moderated comment up on the Heart and Stroke Foundation website, official site about what they're doing. This is Aaron Orkin, top millions, chest compressions only. Brad Chapman's church and coroner's inquest. Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Barbara Yaffe, press conference with the mayor. Ventilations, rescue breathing, smoke, important part. This is what caused people to lose their lives, quite literally. I'm showing up on scene on a regular basis. Parents killing their own children, non-drug overdoses. This is Dr. Peter Selby, past chief of addictions at KMH. Had an office right next door to mine. He growls at me for trying to save his life. Is the KMH webinar went dead silent as soon as I mentioned it's rescue breathing for any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. And there's Peter Selby on the CBC quoted, oh yeah, fentanyl overdose, that'll put you comatose. So doctor, you treat coma or cardiac arrest? Coma proves you're alive, you need rescue breathing. Anything that puts you comatose, you need air, ASAP. They top millions using your tax dollar how to murder everyone. Government's laughing their fool heads off at you. You're killing each other. Say nothing. 